Let's do one problem about um, alkene hydration. Using this reagent, again, uh, hydroboration oxidation reaction happens in anti fashion. That's a reduced selectivity. And it is a zinc addition. So these two things we're going to be considering. And now let's um, throw my compound, the one that I've been working with, to do my reaction is the following. So in the end, you're treating that. First is moraine, tetrahydrofuran, so hydroboration, oxidation here. And now, this is the alkene. This is where we're going to be adding the H and the OH. So because we know this is um, anti markovnikov we know the H is going to be at the more substituted. And here's where you're putting the OH. Now let's draw the products to that. We're not touching the center. Notice this is a chiral center. We have here one, two, three, substituent plus a hydrogen, so four different groups. It is a chiral center. Now we said here that we're going to add the OH here and the H here at the more substituted. So if I have the OH, say, approaching to the side and is here, I need to have the H also on a wish. That means the metal should be on a dash. Again, seeing addition, if you're adding OH and H, that H here is also on the wish, but I'm not drawing it. It's done. In another video, I did it. But again, keep that in mind. So here you have OH and H also on the um, same side. So we have that, and we have another possible product. So we're going to still draw that. We can have now approaching to the opposite side. And here, remember, if you have the OH and H to the same side, the H is going to be on a dash, meaning that the metal would be on a wedge. So um, let's do a little bit. I'm, I'm going to do just the H. Um, in another color so that you know these two are to the same side typically we don't draw that that's why i drew it in a different color and here yes you will have an h these two are to the same side let's remove that plus sign for a second so same side but you typically don't draw the h what you will draw is what you um what i drew uh, at the beginning now, if you're being asked if these, um, what is the relationship, for example, between this molecule? Notice that the molecules here, this center here is inverted, opposite configuration. This center here has also the opposite configuration. However, this center we haven't touched. So these compound, and this, this time, we have two diastereomers. Again, they're not an antimers because we had a chiral center at the beginning in the original molecule, and that wasn't inverted. So, um, again, I'd say recap of that. This is a condition to do anti marcagnic of hydration, which means then the H at the more substituted, the OH at the least substituted. And uh, we will do that also in a seam fashion. Let's redraw. Now, the final products without H's, as I did at the beginning, so this is OH metal, and you have the other product that I have here on the other side is this, so OH and metal. So these are your two products, and you have, yes, inverted this two chiral centers, but the other is the same. So they are diastermers.